Well, I, th I think we uh, we anticipated a um, a physical, you know, highly competitive game. We were certainly aware of how well Creighton has been playing here of late. Uh, you know, they've won on the road, they've won at home, they've uh, they've been playing obviously exceptionally well. So, I have a great deal of respect for um, certainly for them and for um, Coach McDermott and. Uh, the way their team plays, uh, they really schemed defensively uh, to try to take you out of some things, and uh, they were able to do that at, uh, certainly at times. But uh, I'm just, you know, it's 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 probably as proud of uh, as proud of a group as I've been, uh, given you know what we came off of on Saturday night. Uh, obviously, losing um, a, a teammate to injury. And playing in a really hostile environment, I don't know that I've been more proud of a group than than uh, this group. And I just thought they showed great grit uh, down the stretch to, uh, you know, to pull this one out. How many have you been to that the rebound by Barlow and then the shot by Roosevelt there at the end? Uh, it's it's just huge huge play by Alex. Um, he makes them all the time in practice and makes them all the time in the game, and that's what makes him a special player. And then um, obviously Roosevelt, he, he's got ice in his veins, so it was. It was great to great to see him, you know, attack and be aggressive late, and you know, see that shot going. It was fantastic. So, great win. Roosevelt, after the, you guys got that rebound, did you know you were going to get the ball and attack? Uh, I didn't know I was going to get the ball. <clears throat> I wanted to get the ball, and he was uh, going to get the ball. <laughs> yeah, we were going to yeah. make sure of that. Too. Yeah. So, coach, he ran the play for me, and uh, he wanted me to make a play, and I did. Shot went in. The play <clears throat> is called. Uh, <laughs> get it to Rose and get out of the way. Um, so that's kind of what we uh, what we drew up there, and he did a great job, and our guys did a great job spacing the floor. I think the timing of it was important. He he, he went at the right time. We wanted to limit, you know, maybe a chance for a tip in for us, but nothing more than that. So he went he went at a great time. It was pretty emotional after you made that. You went over to the sports <laughs> team. What, what were you saying there? Oh, no. I was just telling them to have a good trip back. There was a uh, fans was talking to me throughout the whole game, so I was just telling them to have a good trip back home. Coach McDermott mentioned the toughness you guys showed at the end of the game, probably being the difference and ultimately winning you know, win for you guys. Yes, did you say anything? Was there anything different at the end of the game, be more aware in that area or what? Uh, no, coach just told us to keep grinding out. We was right where we wanted to be the entire game. They he was trying to get their fans into it, and our uh, team, we stayed together, stayed focused, and we came out with the win. <clears throat> Coach, was it having Andrew out? I mean, did you feel like you guys were disjointed a little bit at times? You know, I think we were certainly playing some guys in different roles offensively and uh, you know I look at our offensive numbers and they really they were not nearly as, as bad as I thought they were as a matter of fact they were pretty good um, with the exception of three or seven from the free throw line we didn't get there enough but you know we certainly had some guys in different roles offensively and defensively um, you know I think our zone helped us uh, because of that defensively but you know, if we were disjointed tonight, probably Creighton deserves as much credit for that as anything. Coach, uh, they had a similar situation against Seton Hall here where they had a late play and they got a good look out of it. What were, what was your message to the team to kind of defend that last 1.9 seconds? Yeah, you know, we just we wanted them to catch the ball coming back towards the ball. We wanted to keep numbers in front. Um, and uh, we wanted to put great presence on the ball. We thought they might try to screen uh, screen Cam there, and Cam did a great job not uh, not falling for that. But I think uh, we just wanted them to catch the ball coming back um, towards. We wanted to keep everybody in front of us. Um, they ran a nice action there, and, and we're able to get a decent decent look. But you know, the biggest thing in that situation is we wanted to contest the shot. You know, without fouling, we were not going to play. You know, with our hands down or assuming that a 50 footer wouldn't go in, we wanted to challenge the shot. Coach, uh, Kellen said that Alex gets those kind of rebounds all the time in practice, but when you saw him come up with that ball, what's, what's going through your mind? You know, that's who he is. Uh, 
you know, he, he embodies so much of, you know, these guys, Alex, um, you know, they, they represent uh, what, what I've seen through the years Butler players be about. You know, they, they have a great grit to them, uh, certainly a great level of toughness. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he plays to win. And these guys are some of the some of the best competitors that I've ever been around, and he made a great competitive play there. Was there any more of a concern coming in off a close, hard fought loss, losing a player that's important as Andrew coming into this environment? I guess what did you think coming in, and what did you learn about your group coming out? Well, it, it reaffirmed uh, more than anything the grit that this group has and the ability to stay with it in spite of things always not always going great. We missed two, I think two front ends of one and one late in, the, late in the second half, you know, and it just, they have a great resilience to them because um, that's always can be always a little bit deflating. But, you know, we talked before Villanova about this being a, a kind of a two game series. And, um, you know, we, we wanted to, I talked about Creighton probably they were kind of wondering why maybe I talked about Creighton as much as I did, but there was no need. We, we were going to be ready for Villanova. So we wanted to make sure we were going to be in the right mindset. Um, and, a really, and, and as a coach, you're obviously looking ahead. And I saw Creighton win at Xavier and have be, you know playing exceptionally well right now. So got great respect for them. And we just um, we wanted to make sure that even Thursday and Friday that we were preparing for this to be two games in three days. Anything else for coach or the players? Thank you, guys. Thank you.